In 1987, director John Borman made hope and glory about his experiences as a boy growing up during the Blitz, and everybody thought it was great. Now, nearly 20 years later, he's made a follow-up, Queen and Country, about a character called Bill, which is basically him, played by an actor called Callum Turner, who is conscripted to do his national service. Now, the problem is national service is just not really as interesting. They're mainly teaching other soldiers how to type in this movie. There's not really any action in it. And the other characters that he interacts with are odd. Uh, he hooks up with a mate called Percy, who's played by the American actor Caleb Landry Jones. I don't understand why they've cast an American. He's not famous enough to benefit the film in any way, and his performance is just supremely weird. It's like he's playing a Jim Dale character in a Carry On film, but this isn't a comedy. It's really odd, and his accent is very bizarre as well. There's a sort of airy, fairy romance that doesn't go anywhere. The biggest incident in it is someone stealing a clock. There's a sergeant major played by David Thewlis that is meant to be terrifying, but really he's a bureaucrat. It's as if John Borman's telling you some stories about his life they're just not as interesting as maybe he thinks they are.